Hey you right guys, Truth Munchers Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 19 of Riverdale Season 3. Uh, this episode's a week late, episode 20 has aired yesterday, I think it aired yesterday. Um, so I'm a couple of days late with that one as well, but you know, back to, back to filming, back from Italy so we can get on with Riverdale. And then I've got the 100 to do today as well, so it's going to be a busy time. But I, I do want to try and get both Riverdale episodes up today. Uh, and yeah, we are coming very close to the end of the season. I think, like I say, I'm not sure exactly how many episodes there is, but I'm going to assume around 22. Uh, you guys will probably know more than I will. But yeah, we'll see what happens. So episode 19, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you want the uncut reaction to this episode and all the other Riverdale episodes, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below, as well as Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. But for now, my friends, let's go. Jelly bean, imagine busting down the door and shouting jelly bean. Randy was juicing. Excuse me? You gave it to him. I would never give one of my fighters drugs. Yeah, all right, mate. Next joke. Unbeknownst to me is not my responsibility. Put a lawyer up, Andrews. You killed him in that ring, and you know it. Oh, we're not doing this again. With an associate being very well taken care of. It's not <laughs> Walking dead. First, your avatars. Mr. Jones, you will be dead eye. A more gargoyle see. gameplay. Go bloody way! And we all love Jelly Bean as a character, so we really are invested with this. That was a joke. Don't care about Jelly Bean. I knew Randy was juicing. I could have stopped the fight, but I didn't want to forfeit. If I had... Nah, it ain't Archie's fault. Not a chance. It's the geezer's own fault for doing the drugs in the first place, and obviously the manager for... I can't give it in, but warranted it a full sweep. They didn't find anything, but what if they hit up El Royale next? Yeah, go. Go. I'll meet you there. <sighs> For like Just flush it. Now. Oh no, dude! For God's sake! Can't catch a break. Call it what you want. We've been playing Secrets and Sin since high school. Alchemist. Why don't you begin? Alchemist. <laughs> hey, reveal your secret. Be honest. Fool. I'm the new Fizzle Rocks dealer in Riverdale, and Kurtz used to work for me before he lost his damn mind. Oh, well, there you go. That's how that one gets revealed then. What about this you didn't tell me, boy? You are the reason that this psycho kidnapped our daughter. <laughs> Look at Kurt. I actually kind of like Kurtz. He's a better villain than the Gargoyle King. That's for sure. For am I screwed? With me in your corner? Never. Oh. I'm going to dog walk that lion cat. I, Archie Andrews, and Mad Dog Moore have both come back negative. And as the investigation into not even funny, but like people would tr believe that just because for Ronick. <laughs> Go on. Farm doesn't believe in putting foreign substances into our bodies. Mm. You can check my file. My father wrote Mr. Weatherby a letter opting me out of all elective medical procedures. <laughs> Dips out. Oh, no, I'm not going to Check my file. I think I just might. Oh, cringe. Why would you say that out loud? Like, you just keep it to yourself, wouldn't you? Who wants us to commit a robbery? Have they been here all day? <laughs> They've been here for 24 hours. <laughs> Sister, when she said to me that I'm a murderer. Archie. Oh, this is an actual bloody story. I still feel responsible, Veronica. To be fair, actually, you know what? I take that back. It's not even the worst Archie's had. I knew how to help them. Josie has been calling me about doing a set, so let me talk to her and the Ronsons. Yeah, can't wait for that set. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, is it? Hi. She's been repeating her junior year. Enrolling in different high schools, pretending to be 17 for over a decade. Oh my god. What? Yeah, we'll see what I can find out. Thank you. So what, she's actually 27? <laughs> Is that a joke? And I want to broaden my musical horizons, so I thought maybe... Do you know what I'd do? I'd just go up to Pops and pull over there and be like... Right, we need to pretend we're stealing money. Can we borrow maybe like five hundred dollars and we'll pay you back? Please. It's me, Jughead. You know who I am. Come and see me. <laughs> I've got a set tonight. Like this was gonna happen. 
Yeah, now you take it off. <laughs> what a mess! Oh, that scene! So me! Juniper and Dagwood must be protected. I agree. That's why I'm talking to a social worker. Oh, there's someone else who might help you. These are by far some of the most interesting scenes I've done with Bay this season. To help you. Auntie, oh, I need your help. Uh, Betty, it's a miracle I could negotiate the release of one twin, Jason Jr. Jason Jr. This is a win. Yeah, what a great win, and also why. Despite what happened to poor Randy, you did win. It's yours. I don't want your blood. No, there's a string to that. Consider my offer, Reaper. I'll take the money. It's not made me fucked up. I'll take it. I just robbed Pops at gunpoint. It was unloaded, but still. Oh, thanks for pointing that one out. Thanks for letting us know that. A trial with the Cyclops. Archie just jumps down from the roof. It's like Arrow or something. The Reaper himself. But I will be taking that prize money after all. I thought it was blood money. <laughs> blood money, baby, baby. That money is theirs. So give me that check, and I'll let you leave here in one piece. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Go on, Archie. You still want to call me the Reaper? You should be paying your answers ten times this. Fair play. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why do you always come out of the ground like a rat? Fuck. It's dumb. I'm like I'm watching Power Rangers. Yeah, but there's more of Joseph singing. You ever held these before, John? Once or twice. On the mark. At the battle. For say Oh the sound effects. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen ever in my life. I've seen dumb shit. This is more of Josie singing for the 45th time in the season and Jughead's mom fighting Penny with Electrica's blades. You just needed to feed her to complete the quest. You did that. Kill her! Let's go. That's it, that's it. Yeah, thank God. Boring! That's what I'd be like in the order. <laughs> I mean, the set was cool. I like all the little light bulbs and the dress is kind of fitting. Yeah, her dad turned up after all. Great. What is it? What Betty, you? save me! Oh, the only you? actually no, Archie's been around this episode as well. Oh, Betty's been okay. Twenty-six to be exact. Twenty-six. I also found this. That's such bullshit. Like is Edgar Evanover's wife, not daughter. What the fuck? That's just a lie. <laughs> being held against her will. So you are going to take me to Jelly Bean. Right now. Right now. You'll pay the price. <laughs> Wonderful performance tonight. Ah. In that case, start packing. We got a show in Asheville, North Carolina tomorrow night. Yeah, okay, that's fine. She can go off and have her own story now. It's this. Blood money. It's this. The prize money. Some donations Veronica pulled together. We didn't donate about five dollars, but I mean. And there'll be more. I mean, that's some pasta and bolognese. Thank you. <laughs> it's all worth it. It's up ahead. We're kidnapping babies now. <laughs> it's just so out of place. I was walked into here. Okay. Only what was preordained. <laughs> Betty, what did you think would happen? My whole life, I've been searching for a family. The serpents. Oh! There are no secrets here at the front. <laughs> They'll just stop Betty to death. <laughs> Join us. No, mate, I won't be joining you. I'll be leaving. Everyone you know. Everyone in your life. <laughs> Join us. Your mother is here. 
Kev, I love Kev. What a great, well-written character. Kev. I want to die. I actually want death. <laughs> Catcher, that's all bang on the window. And I'll smash it. The valley of darkness. And now, That's a scrapyard, mate. Has been restored. Don't be mad, but we've been playing G&G. I know you said not to, but... It's okay. I'll see you soon, all right? Do we get to death scene? Let me kill the princess. Great. I mean, let's... Yeah, absolutely not, by the way. The Just so you know, no, absolutely not. You're right, mate. So, Curse is now dead, right? There's something I need to tell you. I'm Prignardo. You're gonna come back, though, right? Maybe. Uh. <laughs> see. Archie, have a loved our time together. Oh, yeah, wow. But we're not in game. And that's Shut up! Life is here in Riverdale, and mine is somewhere out there. Imagine actually breaking up with someone saying, We're not end game. <laughs> well, he's buzzing because you know he's like, I'm going to go back to Veronica. Fuck. Oh, I've enjoyed our time together, but we're not end game. Sorry about that. I hope that's alright. We okay? So, yeah, that's absolutely fucking great. So now the whole truce and keeping your word thing was just not... This is the thing, I love Hiram and I love villains who can keep their word. Every time they break their word, I'm just like, I uh, kind of lose respect for the villains. And although like, I respect Hiram, but he's a good villain to have in the show and now he's just ruined it. Keep your word, dildo. If anything, here it's Red Hope. Red Hope. Ah! Oh, crimson Cringe. Get back with Veronica, you two are by far cringier than the rest of them, but probably still the best. Why? What's wrong? Your dad is and a few dead. There was some kind of is he out? Accident. Ha! He's out. There were no survivors. No, bullshit. Bullshit. Till I see it, he's out and has escaped. We would have seen it was. All right, there we go, guys. That is episode 19 of Rift 19. This has been going since the beginning of October of last year. What a mess. That episode just felt like so messy. I know the whole season has, but that episode was something else. Jesus. It was one of those where there was quite a couple of really good things in the, in the episode, which we'll go through in a minute, but there was also so much tragic dialogue, moments, scenes, just stupid plot points, and uh, just surrounded all that, uh, the good stuff. Even though I don't like g, &G I found I find g, g to be the worst part of this, in Riverdale history, I find it to be the worst story. At least, and it's not even really a positive, but I guess in the grand scheme of season three it has been, at least there was a bit of emotion behind it because it was to do with Jelly Bean and Jughead, his mum and dad trying to work together to get Jellybean back it was okay. I still don't think it was like that incredible, um, but it was better than the other times that they played G and G. So I guess that's a positive. So that was okay. Betty, the one scene she went to see her dad. Any time that Betty goes to see Hal, I find to be probably one of the most interesting scenes of the episode, uh, and this was no different. Hal is way more interesting now than he was in season two. Like the whole Black Hood. Uh, secret was good in season two. I didn't mind that, but then when it was Hal and he was trying to be all oh, Hal, it was just a bit like okay, whatever. Um, but here now he's behind and he's talking to Betty and trying to guide her and stuff. I find that interesting. However, now they've seemed to maybe ruin that because he's escaped or he's dead. He better not be dead because, like I said, he's more interesting than he was in season two. So hopefully he's not. Betty finding out more about the farm, which is also a bit of a crossroads, like the Jughead thing, because Betty's story 
was good and I like that she actually found something out about Evelyn and that she was married to Ever Never Never, whatever, whatever his name is. But at the same time I have to call bullshit on the fact that Evelyn's 26, did they say? And no one knows this, like, it's just dumb, like, and she goes around schools to recruit people and now Tony's joined them and Betty was surprised that Tony joined them even though it happened to Cheryl and your mum and your sister and Kev and you already thought, oh, I'll do Tony instead. And then they just did the same thing and it's like, oh, now Tony is just like, oh my God. And then the whole Archie and Randy situation, which is again another bit of a crossroads. I like to see Murray, um, I forgot the guy's name, but the manager where he went to confront him about the money and I like that Archie was trying to do something good with the situation and by like, giving money to the family but again it's just like why Archie boxing and he killed someone and then the bad stuff in this episode was the robbery scene was a bloody mess when he pulled his mask off blah, 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 blah. and like they didn't just go up to Pop and explain the situation in the first place you really thought Pop wasn't gonna pull out a shotgun and try to shoot you like oh whatever <laughs> like I said, Jughead's story could be good, but they had that scene, and then they also had the scene where Jughead's mum was fighting Penny, and they did this dramatic comeback for Penny, like anyone gives a shit. Like they haven't done her returning into the show twice already, uh, and then they played with these blades, like that were obviously plastic, and it was just very poorly choreographed, very cringe. Um, so I was just like, no. The, the info about the farm being absolutely tragic. Uh, we're not endgame was an actual line. And just why, like, why are they still throwing out shitty dialogue? It's like the writers want the show to become a meme. But season one and two were nothing like that. Like, they were... Yes, they had cringe moments, but it was like worked into the CW universe and <laughs> like because they always have cringy moments, but it still works for the show where here it's like the writers are just going with that, but they shouldn't. They should have it how seasons one and two were and have it less cringe. I don't know. It's just like they're so self-aware. Like they're either very self-aware about how cringe the show is and they're just going with it, which I don't know if that's worse than if they're not self-aware about how cringe the dialogue is and their actual writers of an actual show which is worse i don't know but that's just annoying it's like stop you've already done the end game joke twice and it didn't work the first time <laughs> oh god and then killing off kurtz i think they killed him off which i think was a terrible mistake he was by far the most interesting villain they've had all season apart from i guess how evan ever's boring the whole farm situation it has its moments but overall is tragic and G&G &G, G &G has never been interesting, not for a minute. Uh, so, I mean, Kurtz is kind of part of the whole G&G &G story, but if I, had to, if I had to pick someone who was the standout villain... Actually, no, Hiram. Hiram is by far the most interesting villain. He always has been of Riverdale. Um, even though this whole going back on his word thing's kind of pissed me off. Yeah, very messy episode. Um, and it, it's annoying because it did have moments that were good throughout. But overall, I just think it was Jughead's mum fighting and the robbery, Evelyn being 26. It's just like they're just making it up as they go along, which I guarantee is pretty much what they're doing. Uh, especially because they only just recently finished wrapping up season three and now it's like about to finish. So, ugh, I don't know, it's so messy. Overall, I'd give this episode a 5.2 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to go 5.2 out of 10. It, this had the potential to be like a 7 or something, I guess. It could have been a really good episode, but it was just surrounded by a lot of shit. So I'm going to go 5.2 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't the episode down below in the comments. Uncut reaction, all that stuff will be down below, down there as well. If you want to check out any... I'm going to watch episode 20 right now as well. Like, I'll, I'll probably edit this and then watch episode 20, but I'm not looking forward to that. So, yeah. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Peace.